Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thought I'd do a uh, video of putting together a crosshead piston for a Detroit 453T. Uh, some of you guys showed some interest in this, so uh, I'll make a quick video on the assembly. So we got our two parts. As I mentioned in an earlier video, I did a quick description of a crosshead piston, but this is the crown and that's the skirt. So in your box of uh, rings and seals, you'll get this Viton seal and that goes in that groove there. So we'll uh, set you down and, and put it in the groove. Make sure you get uh, lots of lube on that. And I'm just using a mixture of STP and oil, something that's nice and slippery. And bring it over here. And slip it in the groove. There, it's in the groove now. So just wipe the oil around the seal. And then I'll put the slipper bearing in. That just slips slips in there like that. Center it. And then lube up the, the piston. It's a little beveled edge here. And uh has to be well lubricated to get the seal to compress inside this. So it takes a lot of, not a lot, but some fiddling to get it to, to go. The trick is not to force it. So. so we're just lubing up this uh, piston. And then double check your seal. And make sure it's in nice and it's not rolled over. Add a bit more lube here. Now this is my last piston, so I've done the other three. So it fits on just like that. <clears throat> and then you just slowly work it. So it takes quite a bit of work to get it on. But patience is hurt. So if you screw this up, you got to go get another seal. So you can see the seal slowly getting pressed in. There we go. So that's what you'll hear when it goes past. And then you double check. that the seal's not rolled over so the spacing's even all the way through. So that's how you put the two halves together. And then we're just gonna torque this up. All right. So the pin We're 
brand new pin. Hey guys, I went home to make this uh, video, put it all together and I realized that I had a corrupt file and that was the part where I put the pin in the piston and then torqued down the, the connecting rod to the piston pin. Um, so that part is missing but it's simply to slide the pin in and then put the uh, connecting rod in soft jaws like this here and then torque these bolts down to 35 foot-pounds. All right. So, um, the next step is to put the retainers in. So there's a tool that Detroit makes, or Kentmore makes, and this is the one here for putting in the retainers. But I actually found I prefer the golf ball. So anyway, get the retainer and just set it in flush like that you get your golf ball or your Kent Moore tool and then you give it a good whack like that and then get a vacuum gauge <clears throat> and pull some vacuum on it. And then hold it for a minute and make sure it holds vacuum. If it won't hold vacuum then you have to knock the disc out and do it again. So simply drive a screwdriver through the retainer and then pop it back out. So that's what it looks like when it's in. Nice dimple and then uh, and it's all the way in flush. I hope you enjoy that guys and the next step is throwing the rings on the piston and then putting the piston into the uh, the liner. I hope you enjoyed that guys and again thanks for watching and if you enjoyed that please subscribe and hit the like button below. Thanks a lot and take care.